Well, Taylor Swift just arrived, and she looks absolutely amazing. amazing. Did you see her? Yeah, that's the, that's the Taylor that people care about. <laughs> Let me introduce oh. you. This is Taylor Hawkins of Foo Fighters, of course, and we do care about you too, Taylor. Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> um, you, yes. You, you're honoring uh, Alanis Morissette. Yes, tonight. I am. Well, uh, talk to me about your friendship with her and, and what it well, means. Well... I was lucky enough to get the gig playing with Alanis when I was, I don't know, 23 or something like that back in 1995. And um, I had met her manager, Scott, and she told yep. me, and he told me, I have this girl, that I'd man I'm managing this girl, and she's making this record. And, and so I met her not far from here at the um, Pantages Theater wow. where I was playing with another lady. But... Um, and she said, oh, I have this record, and maybe maybe you play drums. Maybe, you know. Maybe. And that was it. And it was like three months went by, and then I get a call. We're doing tryouts. I go and I try out, and I got the gig. Thank you, Alanis. Yes, <laughs> and, um, and so we started rehearsing. And, but, I, but, like, I got this three songs on a cassette. It was back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. Back in the day. And um, I heard you ought to know, and I heard you learn, and these three or four, just like, no question, yeah. going to be, I just knew, you it. knew it. You knew it right mm -hmm. away. And so we started rehearsing, and then the first song came out, and it just went completely bananas. So you saw her go from being no one to someone. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think she'd had a, rel a little bit of success in Canada, but I mean, no one knew who she was mm -hmm. in America, and then, yeah, pretty much obscurity. And to see her go from like, zero to like a thousand and i'm telling you like you ought to know came out and within like a week it was just like bananas well it's different now too or it's different it was different then than it is now where well, like yeah you know in that sense how was how was it you know working with her and, and what's maybe something you, you learned from her you guys like maybe you can share like a story well something. you know she was young and yeah. i was young and she was younger than me and she had to become this sort of like boss of this massive industry like within a month and she did it very gracefully as a musician she gave all of us a lot of space and I mean I I said it before I'll say it again I would you know destroyed her songs <laughs> by putting all sorts of crazy drum stuff all over it but she dug it and mm -hmm. I don't know she was she was really open to that and she was you know she was like She's an artist. That's awesome. She's an artist, first and foremost. But giving, and she gave us a lot of space to be a cool band, and within that, and then I watched her just become this, like, amazing yeah. front person. You know? Awesome. Well, good and luck tonight. I'm excited that you get to be a part of this. It's cool that you guys have good, such a history. I, I need the luck on the speech. You got this. Yeah, That's my yeah. usual. Hey, look, you just killed this interview. Yeah, literally. So All you're right. good to go. Thank you so much. <laughs> have fun tonight. So much, and we'll Thank see you, you soon. Thank you.